Are your parents truly appreciating you? Or is it just that they are some ignorance and, well, most likely they are just trying? Now, in most situations, one may actually say, well, you know, trying is still something good, right? But when you try something, you're probably not necessarily doing it because you feel that should be done. It's more because you feel that there is some kind of obligation. And when you do things out of obligation, that's technically not the best thing to do because, well, you're gonna focus more on the obligation rather than on what you should be doing Well, it, when it comes to fulfilling others. To many people, being a parent is just some kind of useless ideal. Uh, many people become parents because their parents keep uh, you know, bugging them, when are you gonna have a child, their uh, neighbors keep nagging them when you're gonna have a child, and probably by religious ideals or whatever other points, they feel they must have a child, right? But when you think that you need or you must have something, the problem is, as I said previously, one focuses more on the obligation rather than on the consequences of actually doing that. Because to almost everyone, right? Having a child is a horrendous act, right? It is a very good thing because you are technically, uh, you know, helping propagate the species. But the point about having a child is the child will be the best, I would say, investment in your life because any machine, any device, anything that you build is something inanimate, right? It's not gonna perpetuates you know our species is not gonna carry your legacy that much it's just gonna write your name on a book and probably are gonna be recognized as a builder or an inventor and that's kind of it when you have a child and based on how well you raise your child well the point is your child can actually carry your legacy a lot but most people don't know uh, how to take care of a child they don't know how to take care of their inner dimensions first of all so they simply won't be able to nurture the needs of a child right when a child is born they are simply you know born at the level of survival right they come into this world through the mother's womb and that is technically the first chakra right the chakra of survival which is also represented by you know the first gate in some asian cultures as far as i read right it is the first gate which also represents the idea of fighting survival that's why the first impulse of the child is to cry right they require protection but as the child grows parents are simply too invested in their own misery to simply take care of the child and well most likely they will do some of the following things. They will probably bribe you with toys or whatever little favors because technically they don't have the time for you. And you know, having sex is an impulse that, well, ignorant people can't fight and they won't fight because being ignorant means living in the first pleasure that the physical body can throw at you. Because be it that you do it through drugs, sex or whatever, the point is the physical body throws you that pleasure. So. The more people indulge in such things, the more ignorant they become because listening to your own impulses is technically good in a way because all living, well, all physical bodies have their own impulses, but the human is capable of actually transcending them, right? So parents can do a lot of things. Now, the problem with parents is schools, first of all, no, they don't teach anyone to conduct self-reflection, okay, to conduct introspection. Because through this, you can basically become more and more capable of questioning who you think you are. Because who you are, right? this who that people are speaking about, this is nothing else than an illusion that you are building, right? It is that you are born in a family and they stick their ideals upon you, right? You are usually born in a family that has this ideal that you have to be a better version than them, right? And the worst kind of these are those corporatist parents, right? They think that, you know, the child must do that which they weren't capable, right? And the child's life is just, you know, that of a slave that must follow each and every one of their orders, right? Like, do this, do that, you must do this, you must do that. There are so many children nowadays that know so many things, like, I don't know, dancing, 
uh, listening to uh, no, actually well dancing um, digital painting whatever the idea that may be right they may have a lot of talents many times because parents want them to have those not because they choose those things by default right and since the child is filled with love and they want to you know naturally they seek to please their parents because they see their parents as some kind of a god the point is well the children will happily do that but as a parent are you asking yourselves at least for once how much suffering you impose on your child right how much your children are suffering and well silently silent suffering is the deadliest because you know suffering just like pain and anger well they are gonna stack right and sooner or later they're gonna explode right why do you think in english it's called to blow one stack right when they get angry silent anger is very deadly because you don't know what the person will do once that anger bursts out because just like a balloon everything in this world is physical and the more of a certain feeling you uh, hide within you well there is a limited space and when it bursts well your angel child will probably appear on television that they have committed some kind of murder or I don't know so the point is are you just forcing your child to simply do whatever you think you need to do because one thing that people don't understand is who you are here is technically irrelevant okay because basically what you are is a very good great percentage and in many people's cases I would say even 80% you are technically your parents you cannot be born into this world without your parents karma right and not necessarily that karma which is perceived by many people as sin right but you are born from your parents so technically you have uh, both their features into you as either dominant or you know dormant features and you also have the features of their uh, ancestors right because, well, one might say you have not seen your grand-grand-grandparents, right? But you still have features of them, right? You might have their eyes, you might have, I don't know, whatever other features, but definitely their DNA is still flowing through you. Even if, let's say, none of their features were decided as dominant, right, when you were conceived, but the point is they still run through you, right? You still have their blood uh, flowing through you so the point about that is as a child when you come into this world you will bear your parents karma the point is it is your responsibility to simply rid yourself and your followers right your future children you have to rid these of that so-called karma because if you don't the poem point is you will simply propagate it right let's say parents people people nowadays it doesn't mean if it doesn't matter if their parents are not that much but many people have a lot of you know dependencies codependency issues drug dependencies I don't know gambling dependencies or whatever the point is this will also be installed on the child sooner or later they will pop up some children might actually be spared and well they happen to pass it to their own children and you know that dependency triggers in that child as a parent, one should remember that the greater the quality of the woman's body, the greater the quality of the life she can bear will be, right? The quality of life that she can bear will be greater, the better her body is kept, right? It doesn't matter how good she looks or how ugly she looks. The point is, if you take care of your own body as long as you, you bear the child, right? The better your body is kept, right? the higher quality of life you will bear right and you will have greater chances of I don't know let's say a new more ingenious child right all children have the ingeniousness of the universe in them but the stupidity and primitivism of people is what's gonna you know prevent that genius from triggering why because of certain fears Many people, and including your parents, most likely fear that if they allow you to think for your own self, you're probably going to realize how failure their life is, right? Because just look at so many of the parents, right? Many of them might probably victimize that they have done so much for society, but you haven't done shit for society, okay? Society doesn't simply 
you know, rely on you specifically, right? Society is just a slaver and, you know, people are willingly giving their own powers. When you are giving your own power, you simply don't count. You're a slave. The purpose of a slave is to be used just like you use a battery in a system. I am not pro-slavery, but that's what technically slavery is. When you're a slave, you simply don't matter at all. And guess what? When you go at work, you're a slave. That's why you don't matter at all. Most likely to your own boss, to your CEO or whatever. Simply people are there, they just play the role of the, uh, you know, the role that they feel in the company. They just play that role and that's it, right? If people don't care for themselves, it's a world of ignorance after all, no one will care for you either, right? And if they don't care for themselves, they won't care for their children either. So the point is, um, are, your chil are your parents belittling you? Every time you say a certain idea, they always belittle you. It's like, you're too small, you're too young to understand those things, right? It's always like, every time you want to have an initiative, it's no, 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 no. Either do like them, or it's not good. Or, you know, it's probably way too much. Uh, you know, live small, uh, live safe, live secure. This is Saturn influence, okay? Saturn influence is all about living safely, right? Don't assume any risks, live safely but the problem is if you indulge too much into this energy you will end up being an enemy of progress when you are an enemy of progress you will suffer like many other countries did right and you know a recent example could be china for example right they lived in a period in which you know their emperor decided they didn't want to change much right and well if you don't want to change much the problem is others will and if you think or don't think that others won't become better than you and well sooner or later they might knock on your door well the problem is you're gonna be in for a big surprise right just like unfortunately china has been one of the cases and well well when the opium wars and you know the painful what they call as a painful moment in their history uh came well you know, there is this thing called karma, right? When you do bad things, you're gonna be returned those bad things, right? And probably they're gonna be much worse. You don't mess with the British Empire, right? They were also in the industrial age. So the point is, they kind of got what they asked for, right? Now they're calling it a moment of humiliation, but you know, this is just victimization, right? You're using the pains uh, of your own ancestors, right? As a justification to do your own bad things now in the present, right? The present people haven't done anything bad to you. What happened back in the past belongs only to your ancestors, right? But it also, you know, a lot of parents hold grudges, right? And this is a huge well, it is a huge problem because when your parents hold grudges, the problem is they will pass those grudges on to you, right? They don't ne necessarily need to tell you those, but don't forget that you're a replica of your parents, right? You have those grudges into you, right? In the deeper aspects of you until they are brought out, right? By your parents actually sharing those with you. When they share those with you, they, you know, somewhat surface, right? And you're going to bear them like a flag that's a problem so understanding your own karma and you know working towards making peace with these things that your parents you know and generations before have been caring with these generations nowadays well these are the walls right these are the force walls as i call them these are the you know karmic walls that you know these generations of children that come nowadays they are more and more capable of understanding the world right and the problem is their parents simply don't, well, they're not fit to understand the greater energies that are coming into this world. Many of the children will go through abuse, but through that abuse they will end a lot of karmic cycles. One parent has to understand the thing. It doesn't matter how horrible your parents were. It is your responsibility to make sure that whoever comes after you has a life 10 times, if not even more, pleasant than you had it, right? no one can have the perfect life okay why do you think you know the perfect lives as you know the americans may portray it in movies and the such why do you think they're called a dream right live the american dream because well it doesn't matter if it's american or whatever other country right but it's called a dream because you have to be ignorant to live it right you have to be asleep 
to experience that, right? And when you're asleep, you're technically an ignorant. Ignorance means accepting everything without the use of your discernment, right? And just for example, think about how people fuss about everything, right? Especially those so-called social justice warriors, right? They're just moralists. And a lot of parents are moralists, right? But what does being a moralist mean? Well, it means that you have created an unhealthy attachment towards a certain idea. And the attachment is so unhealthy that everything that supports that idea is good, everything else is bad. When you live in such a point, when you live in such uh, views over life, your only place should be the psychiatry world because you're always going to be in detriment to others, okay? Religion and a lot of things in society are technically morality, right? Think about history, it is the best example about that, right? Christianity and any other religion is nothing else than a dogma, right? A dogma is basically a belief, and a belief means accepting something without the necessity for proof. Now, obviously, you can easily prove that there is no such thing as God, because God is a construct of humanity. But the point is, there is something called creation, right? There is something that made this whole universe, right? But the problem with people is, they create... A primitive deity right they create something which created this planet only and who has created them right and they present themselves their own morality through the point of slavery right they worship this so-called creation right which is nothing else than a prism a small bit of the actual creation right but they serve it because they believe that they will get something in return, right? Why do you think people have expressions like God give us, right? Or God give to me, right? Or please God, right? They're just beggar mindset. They just expect things by, you know, worshipping others. And it's the same narcissistic features, right? That guide people towards giving their own power to society, right? Because it's the same way they act towards society. They expect God to do everything for them so that their life goes well but they won't they themselves won't do anything to improve their life and it's the same thing with society ignorance will always expect that society will do something for them right why do you think they always blame things it's always the government's fault it's always their children's fault it's always someone else's fault right so many parents use their children as petty excuses so that they don't do anything and well the unfortunate thing is when you have a child the child is a pure energy right so just try to make sure that you're not gonna ruin that uh, pure energy right because if you were taken through a horrible life the point is if you can't hold your impulses why do you simply choose to have a child in the first sense Considering that you most likely know how hard it is to actually have a child nowadays, and especially with the gunfires, right? It's hard to actually imagine, right, having children in such a, you know, hard, in such hard times, because in these times where everything is like breaking down, because, well, the old society has died long since, it's just people are still clinging to it, and, well, their energy still acts as batteries, so that is why this society is taking so long to actually die. But people are simply ignorant enough to realize that everything that exists in this society is just a collective agreement. Language is a collective agreement. Money is a collective agreement, right? And this society is just, uh, well, as it fails, this society is just pulling out the narcissism and the worst in everybody, right? And, well... Society has been kind of narcissistic for so long, right? With ignorant people who don't know anything else than punishing their children for whatever happens in their own life. Well, it's obvious that some fuckers will actually reach, you know, important uh, spaces in society, right? Important roles in society. Because if you believe that your politicians will be much better than you, well, don't forget that they come from the population, right? If the population is ignorant, don't expect politicians to be any way different, right? And expect them to be even more twisted, right? Because ultimately, someone who sells themselves and the people they were meant to serve, you know, just to fulfill someone else's agendas, well, that person is just a puppet. They don't exist, right? It's just some flesh and bones with no soul, consciousness, or whatever you want to call it, right? It's just a soulless construct or whatever you want to call it right there are lots of such people right many people would even sell their children on the black market and well that's how life is right 
So many parents are simply ignorant, okay? And ignorant parents will always uh, run away from responsibilities, right? That is why a lot of the children end up as rags, right? As the unwanted dolls, right? If you don't want to play with a doll, you can easily put it on a shelf and that's it. It's an inanimate object. But the child will start crying, right? And the parents will fuss about that, will have a lot of regrets. And there are a lot of parents who actually give birth to children so that they have whom to dump their negativity upon, right? Such people are the ones who should be taken into treatment, right? Many of these won't simply agree to treatment because their karma won't kind of easily allow for a treatment, right? If there's a lot of pain, well, that person has to live in a certain space where they won't harm others that much, right? After all, narcissists always make so beautiful couples, right? Um, but they shouldn't be allowed to actually create children because, well, basically, they will create even greater monsters than themselves. <laughs> so, the point about, you know, a lot of parents, they will buy you toys, they will take technically bribe you right because they don't have time for you right you have to understand this many of your many parents don't have time for their children and the worst thing is that many parents don't want to have time for the children because well they gave in to the pressure that you know parents and you know relatives and neighbors were putting on right there are a lot of people who constantly nag you when are you gonna have children when are you gonna get married right because misery loves company anyone who is you know pleasant and pleasantly feeling in a marriage they don't need to ask and fuss about you know others also getting married right unless they have some kind of you know cuckoo problems right unless they have something uh, you know going wrong with them right in their own mind because only people who suffer want you to suffer as well why do you think people will constantly nag you when you get uh, when are you gonna get married or when are you gonna get children, right? It's because they are creating, they themselves are creating a lot of pain, a lot of suffering in their own life. And they also want you to suffer as well because, well, they don't care about you. All they want is to, for you to suffer as well, right? I think about that. I'm 30 years of age. I'm not married. I don't have children. And, well, I'm still living my best life. Now, I know I don't have much money, yes, but I do know I am, you know, somewhat know let's call it abundance because I know I actually am abundant right a lot of synchronicities have happening in my life so the point is as of me I simply wouldn't fuss about having children right I know that in these times right in this period you definitely want to be as free as possible because if hell breaks loose in your own area and you want to move away well you can leave your house easily but well if you start arguing with your uh, spouse that hey uh, you know, how about we move and they constantly say, no, 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 I don't want to move because I'm attached to my mom. You know, I must kiss my parents' butt. I must be their slave forever. You know, I never cling to such people. Well, I don't cling to people anyways, but, you know, I don't embrace such people, okay? If you want to be a slave of your parents, okay, so be it. But don't, me pu don't pull me down either, okay? Because if the both of your parents sinks and you want to sink with it well don't expect me to come and drown with you as well okay like as much as love goes I i'm not you know like i'm not foolish right because love means taking care of yourself first well actually of you not yourself it means taking care of you who you are right so that you create the best life for you and then you can be knowledgeable and wise enough so that you can also teach your children that you which you have gathered right and so that your children also have a better life right that's how things go that's how things should be so the point about this is well I can go on with this uh, for so long okay but ignorant parents will always disregard their their children right because first of all they didn't want necessarily their child right they just conceived the child because God wants it because their parents want it or you know just for the idea of pleasing someone right and well people pleasers never have a good ending right people pleasers always end up wanting to be pleased sooner or later because people pleasers will get sick sooner or later and once they get pleased by others they will want to play that role more and more because they finally get to see what it's like to be pleased by others right 
And it doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man, usually it goes the same for both, right? Especially if they haven't been given, you know, the emotional nurturing, right? And the psychological safety that a child needs when they are young, right? They will become, you know, beings who will seek that, right? They will end up in codependent relationships. But everyone has to learn things in their own life, right? Life as a process, not life as this actual existence, right? Because life goes through multiple uh, cycles, right? And each cycle has, you know, the so-called birth of the physical body and the so-called release from the physical body, right? So all this being said, hopefully this video was introspective enough. Feel free to like and subscribe, feel free to follow. If you're interested, feel free to share this with others so that we help, you know, raise the awareness of others. And feel free to ask me questions in the comment section below if you are interested in me creating a new video. I really like being audience-driven. All this being said, you are appreciated. Take care of yourselves. Ferenjan Board signing out.